Uh, what's up guys welcome back to another commentary uh, I'll be giving a look at a game I played here recently on Lippany um, versus the English and this was a game that ended up being a uh, English villager rush in the dark age so I know this is something I've had a tremendous amount of trouble with in the past and I've seen a lot of people on reddit too that also um, I've had a hard time dealing with this beast. He actually had a video recently displaying the strat against other, uh, I think maybe as a diamond player, they kind of called him out and said that they might be able to stop it. So the, uh, yeah, we'll see. He's moving out here just under a minute. He's going to come out and attack villagers and try to tower up with, uh, his villas himself. So I'm just going with my standard opening. Eight to food, two to gold. And if nothing else, I kind of spot this early enough. Now, unfortunately, I also don't know the hotkeys to toggle Fog of War on or off on this. So if you've got any insight, um, I tried to look around. I couldn't find anything. So I spotted those. I back off. I abort this gold vein right away um, I did scout this one up here so we're gonna move over and try to take that one at least get to 200 gold so I can try to age up so I'm taking a couple extra bills it's tough right because you can barely fight back because their villagers have um, bone arrows so we're gonna uh, mining camp there and try to get to 200 gold All right taking wood from the straggler where are we at? Uh, let's switch this over here. So we're at four on food right now Got the six on gold and he's found me over here Let's see if I lose one here Okay I do lose a villager. I've got my 200 gold that I need. Uh, okay, I, was gonna say, I think we get this back home without losing another one. No, he's gonna tower that up. So my gold is a little locked out. What's he got? He's got a scout there. Now we need to get the food to age up. They're sending everybody over to food. He's going to tower that one. Let's see what he's got going on back home. So, Four on food, five on wood. Obviously, he's going to be behind eco-wise. So now we're just looking to age up. Let's see what he's got going on. He's just scouting out, see what else is over there. He's going to start trying to take this gold now. Start looking for his age up. Although he's still a little ways out. So we are going to age up with the Dome of Faith. Uh, staying with four on food. Switching over to wood so I can start getting production buildings out ASAP. Bring the sheep back. That will be helpful. So he's keeping villager production. Although they were idle for a long time there now keep in mind this player is at the time we played this was his fifth placement match so he was unrated uh, but he was 4-0 in the four other placement matches I'm not sure where he sits now, to be honest. I'm coming into this game at a plat three, I believe. Still knocking on the door for uh, for Diamond. All right, where's he going now? He's gonna come try to take food, I think. He's try to get his age up. Uh, uh, villager number two goes down there, unfortunately. He's gonna try to tower this up. Now I just showed up with all those sheep. So we've got resources. 
under the town center. Where's he? He's not even close yet. We're at 70 wood. We're not quite there yet either. <laughs> it's so baloney. Uh, it's my mining camp. I left it there. <clears throat> At least he's got some dillies taking food now. He's got the gold he needs. He's trying to get the food to age up. Where's he going now? Yeah. Alright, he's going to start taking those sheep. We're going to lumber camp on the far side of this. Let's see where he's... Is he aging up yet? Not yet. So, I'm sure his build with this is not optimal. I'm sure he can work on his timings, but definitely some damage was done. He's got a couple villagers. He's got me off gold. So right now I'm just looking to let's see I got 12 food, 10 wood, nothing on gold. I want to get my production buildings. All right, I'm gonna pull villagers to come take this out. He's still got his villagers here. Got a scholar over here to heal up. Grave mistake I made here. I think I let these guys off the hook. Uh, maybe. I spotted them. Oh, yeah, they're going to go out to this other tower. Alright, still producing villagers. Should probably put them to work somewhere. Now, finally aging up. Heck, he's going to be eight minutes into the game here. I still didn't kill any of those villagers. He's got all five. Oh, supply block there for a second. For some reason we go for this tower first. I should have gone up here. I'm pretty sure these villagers run away at some point. Um, so far, still just working with the one stable. Um, banking up my wood. Should turn into some more production here soon. And here come the men in arms. Not sure what I'm looking at here. One villager down. Just one is what we lose. Alright, so we take that tower out. We can get back on the gold. He's still got a higher score than me, somehow. I guess we're both in the same age still. Drop down a couple of archery ranges. He's got the spearmen and the men at arms. Um, there's probably plenty of horsemen. Should heal that guy up. And then start pumping out the archers here with scholars, and we should be able to deal with that pretty easily. Move a handful of guys over to that gold. And we've got nothing on wood. I've got some archers queued up already. There, right, we got a fight coming on. Uh oh. Not loving that engagement. Spearman. I think he baited me in with that shot. I wasn't paying attention yet. 
see who's got going on over here transitioning into farms like these gold villagers are over here too all right so now I'm back on wood uh, got my scholar in the archery range all right, two more villagers I've lost five villas so far I'm right, get him to overextend there a little bit I just want to take out the spearman and it's game on spearman all right just looking a micro down the spearman they fall back Very weak spearmen, so we're feeling better and better about this fight here. Spearmen are engaged with the archers. And they're down. Now it's wide open. One more spearman there. See if we focus him down. We don't. Again on the macro. 13 food, 8 food, 9 gold. So now we're looking move towards an Egypt not too worried about that gold so I've got this one for now uh, I've got scholars producing and he's still trotting some guys all the way across the map let's take a look here he's on f five on food 18 on wood so just looking to keep up what he's got going on so that should be Coming close here soon to an age up. Um, yep, we're gonna take out this barracks. Again, he's gonna overextend with those longbowmen. All right, we micro away from the spearmen. Perfect. All right, barracks is down. Uh, production underway. So even losing five villagers, I'm still up three somehow. So he must have idled the TC a little bit. Um, yeah, we've cut unit production. We're gonna age up here. Again, we're not too 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 concerned with this position, and he bails. See, scores starting to even out. Where are we at here? Aging up? Not quite yet. Uh, I guess we are making units. I think I wanted to have more scholars here anyway, so I can move out to the uh, sacred sites. He might be picking up to where. I mean, he'll be looking to age up too soon as well, I think. Uh, however, we've got a much bigger army. It's just a matter of what we decide to do with it, so. Income per minute. Some heavy on gold now. So plenty of units here to move out and take control. We're going to clean this up here first. Yeah, we're going to split them off. I'm going to run these horsemen into his base. And he's just building up for the gold too. I realize he left. So I like that move. Um, let's see what we got here. We are going to extend our age too. Okay. So we're going to move out to these berries. 
And we've got horsemen coming in here to cause a little trouble. Let's see, so far still zero vil kills. There's one. like that we're on the board with three so now we got a six vil lead and much more army still haven't taken that out but it's not really causing us any problems um, just now getting the blacksmiths that could have been helpful earlier to fight that with villagers. Yeah, interesting that he wants to fight to say the least. I guess he's just trying to bait me in there. What else do you do? Can we heal that guy? There we go. Alright, we're gonna save that horseman. He actually beat me to Castleage. We're aging up now, also. He went with. Uh, he moved out here and blocked that sacred site with the white tower. Even with the age up, he's slightly behind on score. I think that'll probably jump once that building is complete. I go with the compound defender and start dropping some castles and uh, cheaper walls if needed. So now he's keeping his army back at home. And we are moving out on the map. start taking the relics to bring home um, checking out these sacred sites and surprise yeah I definitely I did not know that was there and I'm shuffling around here I'm trying to get a uh, scholar to pick up this relic you can see and I can't get him to grab it so we're just losing losing military here and he gets picked off anyway we got a bunch of villagers that were coming um, I think they want those berries I'm messaging him something there I'm not sure what um, all right so those berries are out we're gonna have to move again See, we're still still pumping the bills. Um, still at five to three for vill kills. Uh, still got a quite a bit bigger army here. I'm still in okay shape. I just wasn't expecting him to be there, so that's cutting off a few things. Let's speed it up a little bit here. So we ended up with one relic so far. Uh, that's two. We got three, four, and five. So All right, we've got three of them so far. Let's see what he's. He doesn't have any yet. So just kind of hanging out at home. He's now taking stone. He's no longer on gold. Oh, yeah, he is. I'm sorry. He's out here. 
and we're here. Now we're gonna start slapping down our production buildings now that we got some excess wood. to fight under this white tower here. Looks like we will get that relic home and also look to <clears throat> take these sacred sites. I kind of forgot about these guys hanging out over here. Where are you boys going? He's going to go take the easy one. Now we are going to start looking to bank a bar stone, especially with this compound defender. We get the cheap, cheaper keeps, cheaper stone cost on everything. He picks up his one relic. Let's go ahead. spreading out all over the map for food so we're on this left side um, these guys I don't have wood at the moment I'm gonna move over and take these berries here in the middle as well outnumbered by quite a bit um, all right we got the siege workshop down plenty of production out here now and eventually once I have the wood I'll need another mosque to bank that relic so he's actually gonna make a push here he sees my trip taking that out so let's see what we got Two mangonels coming. No spearmen, just men in arms. Uh, we're going for the mangonel. All right, he's got villagers coming too. Interesting. Now that the mangonel's gone, we can move out. And this is. Looking like a cleanup. I'm not sure why those scholars insist on running into the middle of the action every time. I might lose that trip. Well, we don't take any of the bills. Uh, he's got another mangonel coming in on the back side. Bills coming from everywhere. We've got uh, military reinforcements coming. Let's see if we get another one dropped on our head here. He's going to go for his second castle in the area, too. Boom. Big Manganel shot. Luckily, the follow-ups go for the knights. Turn our attention here to the villagers. Try to stop this castle from getting up. It's not looking good. Right, he gets it up, but damage is done for sure. So now we're up to 31 worker kills. The bigger military. I think he's still <laughs> still on one TC over here. Uh, and 
and our gold, our passive gold, should be pretty crazy here. Uh, not sure why we just leave these guys sitting out here in the middle. There we go. Right. Try to get the Springle in placement. So we're gonna throw our second castle up. Uh, where's all our food? We got food there. Lots of food over there. Probably use some more on gold. Anyway, here's the current status. Here's the engagement. We're just kind of waiting it out, massing our army back up, and we got some siege rolling out. We got the second castle up. We're going to move back out and start taking some more stone. Uh, we're both sitting on a ton of food. He's actually got more gold than me. Gonna take out that trib. Somehow that one monk just body blocks us. There's all those lancers. And that was uh was not feeling good about that one. Obviously not knowing exactly what he's got going on behind this. Um, he's actually going age four. The Wingard Palace. We're still loading up. Uh, we've got the market down. He's still pelting us with that trebuchet. We try to save this if we can. Castle too. All right, we decided to let this one go. We still got one castle as a backup. He's marching spears first in the archers. Not ideal. Now we're just looking to trade with the archers here. Unfortunately, half our guys are uh, just kind of standing around. We'll let the trebuchet go again. Not great. Yeah, that should not have happened. Alright, we'll take our horsey riders. We're going backside. We're going to meet up with our Guys, we forgot about earlier. Let's try to do a little raiding. Insta lose that castle. Which I'm not quite sure how he spotted that out. That was, uh, that one hurt. Uh, got pop capped. Start getting some houses over here. Some more horses coming around the backside. <laughs> That's the one real big benefit of having the military lead is I can split my army up like this. And he can't be in both places at once. So we start getting some pretty good raids in here. He's imp, he's got the enclosures. He's tripping down that castle. We're gonna come and start. Now that one will keep up. He's only got one trip. Um, got that group of uh, lancers and horsemen. We've got more horsemen coming from the other side. So, again, amassing another force. A couple trebs, couple mangonels, and this is gonna be tough to beat already. Coming back in the base. And just picking them off one by one. He's got uh, 
No answers for this back here. I think he may have gotten distracted. I'm trying to worry about this. We just tee off. We're up to 42 vil kills. And I'm also looking to take down these houses and try to supply blocks. And now we've got a battle coming on the front side. Uh, class the castle's close to going down. Move out, move out again to try to take this trip. Oh, then we get body blocked. Again, still just doing work on the backside. We're trying to pop cap them here, take out these houses. Uh, I never did take that other sacred site. Oh, I'm there now. Uh, now he's going to try to split up. Nope, we catch that trip this time. You can see now we've got supply blocks. I'm taking out these houses. He doesn't have a whole lot of wood. Now down 48 villagers. Um, trying to proxy on the backside. And now he is in pretty big trouble. And he taps out. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he just couldn't keep track of everything going on on both sides. But yeah, once this raid came in, that was that was trouble. I mean, he couldn't make any more units. He was supply blocked. Uh, flip the score a little bit. So yeah, I think we ended up uh, four relics to one. Um, I did want to just look at that timeline real quick. So villager stays pretty steady until I start doing some work there. So yeah, just getting out of uh, getting out of the hole, starting out there was the big, big key. Um, once we massed that army and kind of cleared up our end of it, so we could get out of the base. I mean, pulling that move, you're going to be way behind at the start. Obviously, it took uh, about eight minutes to get to age two, so put you in a pretty big hole. But it's a uh, uh, tough strat to get out of the gate. So let me know what you think. Um, what you think I could have done differently? Again, if you know any hotkeys on that uh, caster view, that'd be awesome too. So much appreciated. Thank you.